In this video, we are going to talk about top 10 African women inventors. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. The majority of people are familiar with well-known inventions, such as the cotton gin and the light bulb. However, there are a plethora of inventions that are frequently overlooked or forgotten. Women's outstanding achievements and contributions are being recognized and celebrated all over the world. So what better time to pay tribute to Black women innovators, who are all too often overlooked and excluded from our history books, than right now. Following are the inventions of Black women. Number 10. Madam C.J. Walker Walker made history by becoming the first African-American woman to become a millionaire in the 1970s when she launched her own line of hair care products. She began experiencing hair loss in the 1890s as a result of the chemical she was exposed to while working as a laundress in the 1890s. She eventually came up with her own formulas to heal scalps and stimulate hair growth, which she later patented and sold to other companies. Her other accomplishments include the invention of the hot comb, which was used to straighten the hair of African-American women. Number nine, Dr. Patricia Bath. During cataract surgery, Dr. Patricia Bath invented the laser FACO probe, which is a tool that is used to correct the cataracts that have developed over time. Capillaries are an eye condition that can result in blindness and Bath's tool made it possible to remove them in a less invasive and safer manner than previous methods were capable of doing. Bath made medical history in 1988 when she was awarded a medical patent for the laser, becoming the first black female doctor to do so in the United States. Number eight, Miriam Benjamin. When Miriam Benjamin received a patent in 1888 for an invention she named the gong and signal chair for hotels, she became the second African-American woman to do so. Customers could request service by pressing a button on their chair, which illuminated a light to alert the wait staff that they were ready. As a result, the gong and signal has been adapted for use in the United States House of Representatives, as well as airplanes. When you signal flight attendants that you require something, you are using the gong and signal. Number seven, Sarah Good. Sarah Good made history in 1885 by becoming the first African-American woman to file a patent. Good was born into slavery and later relocated to Chicago after the Civil War ended. She met her husband while there, and the two of them went on to open a furniture store. Back in the 1880s, most Black families in Chicago didn't have a lot of money to spend on furniture because they were forced to live in cramped quarters. Good, who recognized a need for innovative space-saving solutions, created the cabinet bed, which could be converted into a functional desk when needed. It's similar to a Murphy bed, but it's more useful. It's difficult to believe that Good's cabinet bed is no longer in existence. Consider the amount of space that could be saved in dorm rooms, studio apartments, or those new tiny houses that everyone is raving about right now. Number six. Dr. Patricia Bath. Dr. Patricia Bath invented a device that significantly improved the process of removing cataracts, which can cause impaired vision and even blindness. While she may not be responsible for everyone's sight, she is responsible for many. Today, her laser FACO probe, which allows for the removal of cataracts in a quick and nearly painless manner, is in widespread use throughout the world the first African-American woman to be granted a medical patent. Dr. Bath went on to co-found the American Institute for the Prevention of Blindness, and she was the first woman to be appointed to the position of Director of Ophthalmology Residency Program. She also established the concept of community ophthalmology, a system that increased the amount of eye care available to low-income and undeserved populations as a way to further her mission of improving access to eye care. Number five, Marie Van Britten Brown. When Marie Van Britten Brown and her husband, Albert, became aware of an increase in crime in their New York neighborhood, as well as the fact that police were responding to calls in their area of town, they decided to take steps to make their home feel safer. 
they were successful. Brown and her husband applied for a patent for a closed circuit television security system for a home in 1966, and the patent was granted. The system included a camera at the front door that looked through one of four peepholes that were set at various heights to provide surveillance. The image in question was broadcast to the user via a television set located in another part of the home. It also had a two-way microphone, which allowed for communication with visitors at the door, as well as a remote switch, which could be used to unlock the door and allow people to enter. If the person appeared to be in danger, users could press an alert button, which would alert a nearby security firm. Homes and apartment complexes all over the country are now equipped with systems that are very similar to this one. Number four, Ozak Esu. According to The Telegraph, Dr. Esu is one of the top 50 women under the age of 35 working in engineering in the United States. In addition, she was named as one of the top six finalists for the IET Young Woman of the Year Award, which she went on to win the following year. To assist Nigeria in resolving its energy crisis, Dr. Esu studied engineering, demonstrating that women can and do make a difference in their communities. As a result of her commitment to the advancement of sustainable engineering development, she will be able to further establish herself as one of the truly inspirational female engineers who are reshaping our world today. Number three, Francisca Neneka Okiki. Professor Okiki is a Nigerian physicist who was the first female dean of the University of Nigeria's Faculty of Physical Sciences. She is also the first female dean of the University of Nigeria's Faculty of Physical Sciences. She also holds the distinction of being the university's first female professor of physics. Professor Okiki has received the L'Oreal UNESCO for Women in Science Award from the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization in recognition of her significant contributions to the understanding of climate change. Her advocacy for greater inclusion of female faculty members has benefited the university's department, which has resulted in the hiring of three new female faculty members as a result of her efforts. As part of her ongoing efforts to inspire girls and women to pursue careers in science and technology, Professor Okiki has created the Okiki Foundation. Number two, Sarah Boone. The ironing board is a product that is frequently used, but that is also frequently overlooked by consumers. Boone, an African-American woman who was born into slavery, is credited with inventing the term. It was she who developed the idea for the original invention, which was simply a wooden block. With her 1892 additions, the board had a more curved and narrow design, which made it easier to iron clothes, particularly women's clothing, than it had been previously. Number one, Wangari Muta Matai. Besides being the first female professor in Kenya, Dr. Wangari Matai was also the first African woman to be awarded the Nobel Peace Prize, making her the first African woman to receive this honor. Dr. Matai founded and served as the leader of the Green Belt Movement, which was established in 1977 with the goal of combating deforestation. The campaign's goal was to encourage women to think about the environment and to plant trees in their local communities, and its success resulted in the movement spreading to other African countries as a result of its popularity and success Dr. Wangari Mathai passed away in 2011, but her efforts have resulted in the planting of more than 30 million trees in countries around the world since her death. What are your thoughts on our video? Please let us know what you think in the comments area below. If you enjoyed this video and would want to hear from me again, please subscribe and turn on the notification before leaving. Thank you for watching us.